Adamantios Core or Core Greek, Adamantios Corais Latin, Adamantius Corais, French, Adamants Core, the 27th of April 1748 to the 6th of April 1833, was a Greek scholar credited with laying the foundations of modern Greek literature and a major figure in the Greek Enlightenment. His activities paved the way for the Greek War of Independence and the emergence of a purified form of the Greek language, known as Katharevisa. Encyclopædia Britannica asserts that. His influence on the modern Greek language and culture has been compared to that of Dante on Italian and Martin Luther on German. Topic: <laughs> Life and Views. Corre was born in Smyrna in 1748. His father Ioannis, of Chian descent, was Demigerontes in Smyrna, a seat similar to the Prokritoi of mainland Greece, but elected by the Greek community of the town and not imposed by the Ottomans. He was exceptionally passionate about philosophy, literacy and linguistics and studied greatly throughout his youth. He initially studied in his home place, where he graduated from the Evangelical Greek School. After his school years, he lived for a while in Amsterdam as a merchant, but soon he decided that he wanted to study in a university. He studied also the Jewish, Dutch, French and English languages, apart from his knowledge of ancient Greek and Latin. Corre studied at the School of Medicine of the University of Montpelier from 1782 to 1787. His 1786 diploma thesis was entitled Pyrotologia Synopsis, while his 1787 doctoral thesis was entitled Medicus Hippocraticus. He traveled to Paris where he would continue his enthusiasm for knowledge. There he decided to translate ancient Greek authors and produced 30 volumes of those translations, being one of the first modern Greek philologists and publishers of ancient Greek literature. After 1788 he was to spend most of his life as an expatriate in Paris. A classical scholar, Corre was repelled by the Byzantine influence in Greek society and was a fierce critic of the lack of education amongst the clergy and their subservience to the Ottoman Empire, although he conceded it was the Orthodox Church that preserved the national identity of Greeks. While in Paris, he was witness to the French Revolution. He was influenced by the revolutionary and liberal sentiments of his age. He admired Thomas Jefferson, and exchanged political and philosophical thoughts with the American statesman. A typical man of the Enlightenment, Corre encouraged wealthy Greeks to open new libraries and schools throughout Greece. Corre believed that education would ensure not only the achievement of independence but also the establishment of a proper constitution for the new liberated Greek state. He envisioned a democratic Greece, recapturing the glory of the Golden Age of Pericles. Corre died in Paris aged 84 soon after publishing the first volume of his autobiography. In 1877, his remains were sent to Greece, to be buried there. Publications Corice's most lasting contributions were literary. Those who were instrumental in publishing, and presenting his work to the public were merchants from Chios. He felt eternally grateful to these merchants, since without them, it would have been financially impossible for him to publish his works. These works included Strabo in Greek, another on Marcus Aurelius, his translation of Herodotus, the translation of the Iliad, and his main literary work, the seventeen volumes of the Library of Greek Literature. His political writing really begins with the publication at the opening of the 19th century of ASMA Polemisterion, War Chant, and Salpisma Polemisterion, Military Bugle Call, celebrating the presence of Greek troops fighting alongside the French in Egypt. Earlier he had attacked with his Adelphiki Didascalia the Greek Patriarch of Jerusalem for urging the Sultan's Christian subjects to support him in the war against the atheistic French. Corre went on to publish in 1803 his report on the present state of civilization in Greece, based on a series of lectures he had given in Paris, extolling the link between the rise of a new Greek mercantile class and the advance of the Greek Enlightenment or Diophotismos. In What Should We Greeks Do in the Present Circumstances? A work of 1805, he tried to win his compatriots over to Napoleon and away from the cause of their Russian co-religionists. In later years, though, his enthusiasm for the French emperor diminished, and he ended by referring to him as the «tyrant of tyrants». Away from contemporary politics, Corre did much to revive the idea of Greece with the creation of the Hellenic Library, devoted to new editions of some of the classic texts, starting with Homer in 1805. 
Over the following twenty years many others appeared, with lengthy prefaces by Corey entitled Impromptu Reflections, with his views on political, educational and linguistic matters. Although the broad mass of the Greek people was beyond his reach, he played an important part in the shaping of a new consciousness among the intelligentsia, which was to play a part in the creation of a new national movement. On religion Kore was a Greek Orthodox but also a critic of many practices of the Orthodox Church. He was a fierce critic of the Ecumenical Patriarch of Constantinople, considering it as a useful tool in the hands of the Ottomans against the Greek independence. So, later, he was one of the supporters of the new established Church of Greece. He was also critic of the monasticism, the ignorance of the clergy, and practices like that of the holy fire. He was a supporter of religious freedom, empiricism, rationalism and tolerance. He set himself in opposition to some metaphysical ideals of Greek custom and sought to mold Greek orthodoxy towards a more syncretic religious basis, in order to bring it under the auspices of liberal thought and government. <laughs> On Greek language One of his most significant accomplishments was his contribution to the redefining of the Greek language. The Greeks were dispersed so widely across Europe, people who served several masters. He decided to purge the demotic the vernacular or spoken language of foreign elements such as Turkish, but also Western, words and phrases. His vision led to the creation of Katharevisa by future scholars. His intent was to bring the language as close as possible to the classic of ancient Greece. This effort ultimately led to his publishing the Atakta, the first modern Greek dictionary. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Influence on the Greek constitutional and legal system. Unknown to most, Kore held passionate views on how the legal system should function in a democracy views which of course, were greatly influenced by the French Enlightenment, closer to Montesquieu than to Rousseau and managed to have a great, albeit indirect, impact on the constitutions of the Greek Revolution, but also, primarily, on the constitutions or syntagma created after the end of the Greek Revolution. This element holds significant importance if one takes into consideration the fact that these meta-revolution constitutions still, to the present day, form the basis of the Greek constitution and the philosophy on which the guiding principles of the Greek legal and judicial system are rooted in. This influence Kore exercised on Greek law, was due to a personal relationship the intellectual formed with another Greek intellectual, the legal scholar of international repute N. I. Serapoulos, who, after the Greek Revolution, became the founding father of Greek law and the author of the Greek constitution. Proof of this relationship and of the strong and progressive views Kore held on how the legal system of the new Greek state should be formed, is based on correspondence exchanged between the two men, during a long period of time, beginning before the Greek Revolution. These letters which manifest the influence the older intellectual Kore had on the then aspiring lawmaker Serapoulos, are in the possession of the archives of the Greek National Library, were discovered and brought to academic light, in 1996, by a law school student, researching a project sponsored by the Faculty of Law of the University of Athens and the National Academy for Constitutional Research and Public Law adjacent to the University of Athens. The ensuing thesis was published. Legacy Kore was declared pater patriae pateris tis patridos, by the revolutionaries at the Third National Assembly at Trozen. Kore's portrait was depicted on the reverse of the Greek 100 drachmas banknote of 1978-2001.